Good morning, everyone. It is now Easter Sunday. This, whoa, there we go. <laughs> that was so overexposed there. This is gonna be the last day that I vlog this weekend. I've decided that on Easter Monday, I'm gonna take the day off from vlogging so I don't need to think about it and that I can just relax for the last day before we go back to working from home. And we have some lovely plans for today. We are gonna make our own afternoon tea. I ordered this, actually, I'm not gonna pick it up. It's quite heavy, I'm gonna turn you around. I ordered this um, afternoon tea stand from Amazon. Um, it was supposed to be a white ceramic one, that's what I ordered, um, and they accidentally sent me the wrong order. And at first I was kind of annoyed because I was like, oh, it was really pretty, the one I wanted, but the more I've looked at this, the more I really like it, like it's so pretty and intricate. I don't know if you can see the design. So I'm not mad about it anymore. I'm just gonna keep this one and yeah, use this. So. We're gonna make our own afternoon tea. We've already baked on Friday a lot of the things that we we're gonna use, like the scones and the brownies and the crispy cakes. We're gonna make some sandwiches and what else? I've got some crisps. I can't think of anything else to put on there. Anyway, that's what we're gonna to do today. And then I also had the idea, because we have some leftover sausages from the barbecue, I had the idea that we could maybe just make our own Greg's bean melts, like sausage bean and cheese melts. I've never made puff pastry in my life. What are you doing? <laughs> Let's see how long you would take for you. How long were you there? Uh, about two, two seconds. Oh. <laughs> um, I've never made puff pastry in my life. I've just Googled a random puff pastry recipe and it came up with BBC Good Food. I'll leave links down below. And yeah, just gonna give that a whirl later on. Eric, let's see your hair in the daylight. Oh, actually, you can de definitely see where I didn't do the blend very well on the sides. Let's see. Yeah, you can see the lines. Yeah, oh, thanks, mate. I could probably fix it though. Could you? This way, this way. It's not too bad. Thanks. I mean, it's from far away. From, <laughs> from far away, you can see it. Yeah. Look in the mirror, you can see the sides. I could probably fix that, to be honest. I'll be fine. I'm gonna start making the afternoon tea. Do you want it now? I thought we were for a walk. Um, Walkies! Let's go for a walk! Yeah! I thought we were gonna go for a walk in there. Fine, we'll go first. So we've got the kettle on and I've made our homemade afternoon tea. I'm well happy with how this turned out. So obviously we've got the brownies and the flake cakes that we made the other day. The homemade scones we made the other day. I've put some Doritos at the back there and then we've got a tuna mayonnaise sandwich. And then we'll try to replicate Eric's favorite sandwich from the um, pub, is it a pub? No, a cafe. The Fox. The Running Fox. It's called, and um, they do like a, a sweet chili chicken, cheese, and bacon sandwich. So we'll try to replicate that with um, some bits and pieces. And then we've got clotted cream and jam, and we've got the kettle on the go for our tea. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm How cute is this? So cute. Not for you though. I mean, it's missing the. It's missing what? Sugar. Missing oh, the ice and sugar. Nah, I'll be fine without it. I hate to be someone who brags, but these are genuinely some of the nicest scones that I've ever tasted, and I made them. <laughs> are you laughing at me? Literally. No, no, no. How many no. scones are in your life? <laughs> I have a fair few. Four, four, two of them are on. <laughs> these are the first scones I've ever made. I've never made scones before, and they're freaking great. Are you saying they're not great? I'm not saying that. What are you saying then? I'm saying you're a big headed little fuck. <laughs> 
Do you like them though? Typical Aries. I'm not an Aries, I'm a Taurus, <laughs> you dickhead. Typical Taurus, getting confused. Do you like them though? I would be eating them if you fucking like them, would I? Of course I do. They're nice. Going down a treat. Oh, I've still got the cakes to eat. I'm quite full already. You know, as well. I oh. have a second scone, but then I was like, oh, I'm writing stuff now, so. Oh, yeah, Eric's writing down some more movies to put in our little movie jar. That are on Netflix, because we wrote lots of movies that weren't on Netflix and didn't realize. So then we pick them up and go, oh, Gladiator. That's not on Netflix. I know. Ew, I'm not watching Red Dragon. Do you know what Red Dragon is? Mm hmm. It's a prequel that, um. Yeah, no. Silence of the Lambs. I know, and everyone's gonna okay. hate me for saying this, but I did not like Silence of the Lambs. You did, because you like Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Yeah, and but Dr. he wasn't Hannibal in Lecter it! Is in Red Dragon a lot. Mm. It's about how he got captured, and mm. like his. I found, I personally found Silence of the Lambs like quite boring yeah. and bland. It is bland after. Um, I don't know why people like it so much. Because when it came out, and what it represented. Nah. Why did you put so much cream in there? You're gonna eat all that cream now? That's for you. I'm not gonna eat all that. Well, We've got a whole fucking chug of it. You know what I mean? What else are we going to do with it? You don't have to look at recipes to use uh, quite a cream up. Oh yeah, I will. Oh, uh, and we're going to make pasties. Whoop whoop. Sausage and bean pasties. Greg's own. Well, oh my Very god, well. what could we call it? If it's called Greg's, what could Becca's we call pasties. it? Becca's pasties. <laughs> Becca's pasties. <laughs> we're feeling pretty defeated. We've still got the cakes to eat. Oh. Eric's got a nice lengthy list there of movies to add to the movie jar. You tired? Yeah, after a big meal, I always just get a bit knackered. You just want to like. It's weird it though. Out. When it was on there, it didn't even look that big. When I did, now it's like, like, I don't know. You sandwich. wanted more sandwiches? I don't know the sandwich. I'm like, it's so I literally had to put like, like two squares of each sandwich next to like mm -hmm. half a sandwich. Um, so I thought, oh, there's a lot of food here. And Eric was like, no. I want a full sandwich. I was like, fine, I'll make you more sandwiches. And he hasn't even finished them. And he hasn't even finished the rest. I'll get that. Yeah. But it's bigger than your eyes. I mean, no. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> your eyes. What's the fuck saying? What? What's the saying? Your eyes are your bigger eyes than your belly. belly. Jesus Christ. I just told you you got your big belly. Shit, your eyes are tiny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> your eyes are bigger than your belly, is what I meant. We've just picked a movie out the movie jar, and we've got... Let's focus. We've got the new Child's Play, which I think is on Netflix. Is it on Netflix? Yeah, Netflix. There it is, right there. Hey, so we're going to watch this now, and then after Child's Play, should we try making the pasties? Yeah, let's go play some game. So we've just finished Child's Play. Did you like it? Are you eating brownies? No. <laughs> I think it was alright. Mm. I feel really tired now though because I've been laid on the sofa. But now I'm going to find somewhere to put you because we're going to make puff pastry and then a bean, cheese and sausage melt. Big bowl. I need 250 grams flour, a teaspoon of salt, butter and then water. That's really easy. Extremely easy. I'm not entirely sure what loosely means. Make a bread crumb. You can see a bit of butter. Got like that. Well, this must be too much water then, I guess. It's 150, wasn't it? Yeah. Just keep doing it. See what happens. Okay, I feel like that looks fairly. Rough. Put it in the fridge for, did it say 20 minutes? Uh, I think so, yeah. 20 minutes. I'm just gonna hide a few bits in. I'm sure this will come out perfectly though. We'll see. And this is what I've seen people do on videos. Mm. Mm. Oh, it looks like a book fold. I'm sure this is gonna go really well. I can't wait to eat it. Well. I'm not a professional baker. Oh, yeah. Mm. For your master baker. We have our beans. We stock a ganoise. We have browned off our sausages and I've also like wiped them down so they're not too oily. I guess just cook them all together. I don't know. Sausages. You don't know. Why am I listening to you? Make them nice and cheesy. 
And then... Go on, let's add butter. I'm going to put butter in as well so it's nice and creamy. Jesus Christ, I'm going to have a heart attack. Well, it's a Greg's pasty, Eric. It's not healthy. That's why I don't eat them. You do. How dare you. I think that looks alright. Ooh. This looks so good now that the butter and the cheese is melted. I'd say that's ready, so I'm going to put it to the side for now. The door's been in the fridge. Erica <laughs> threw away my makeshift rolling pin in the bin. Is that so a date? Now, I'm now using this to roll it out. Oh, I feel scared. Right, make four big rectangles. I know. Well, I'm just going to make it really big and then use a knife to cut it, I guess. Too late now. Oh, I was supposed to be a vlogger. Okay, so then. Jesus, fuck, that's a lot. Is that too much? Ah, help me. That's fine. I mean, I mean, I probably would have made these toppers first. No. I then put that on, and no. then put the thing on top of it, and then sealed it in. Hold on. No, you can eat that right now. I feel like. This is overhanging too much. Put it on top and then get a fork ready. Push down. I'm just stretching it a little bit. I'm sure it'll be delicious. Do other pasties have air holes? I think so, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have done that many. That's one pasty. Wait. It looks alright. What do you call those, um... Italian foods that have stuff in them. Ravioli. Ravioli, that's the one. No, it's not ravioli, that's not pasta. Shut up! I thought that was massive ravioli. I'm going to the bowl. So, how long did we have to cook the frozen other grass one? Like 25 minutes? Um, half an hour. Half an hour. Yeah, but that was frozen what though. What time did you Uh, I'm at 200. 200? Yes. I'm oh, probably doing this in about 20 minutes or something on a non frozen one. Like, check it. Yeah. Bye bye, babies. I'm scared. What if they're just disgusting? I mean, I'll be shocked if, they, if they're not. Let's do 15 minutes and uncheck them. Okay. Wow, this is the first time we've ever seen the. <laughs> do you think look? I didn't do an egg wash, which I really wish I did now. But do you think they look done or? I think so. Should I take them out? Yeah. Look at this. See how soggy they are. Why would they be soggy? If they're, if they're not done. I'll lift one of them up, I guess, and show you how a little lock underneath it. Oh, that's not good. Well, they might be soggy because of the filling. Just eat it and see if you shit. Oh, no, that's done. It was really hot. Oh god! No, they're done. They're done. They look cool. Next time, definitely need to egg wash them. But they still look crispy. They don't really look like puff pastry though. They kind of just look like exactly like Greg's normal pastry. It's nice, but like it reminds me of um, a pie, a pie pastry. It's almost like short crust or a crust, yeah. Yeah, short crust pastry instead of puff it's pastry. More like that instead of like a soft. I think I just didn't one. make it right. I mean, it just feel like a pie, like I have to say. Like even the like, snapping. Is it nice though? Mm hmm So I'm actually gonna end this video here. I'm not gonna be vlogging tomorrow just cause it's Easter Monday. I thought I need at least one day of this four day weekend where I don't need to think about vlogging or anything like that. So, I hope you like this video, even though it's not been the most interesting cause we've been in lockdown, but I think it's better than nothing, I guess. So if you liked it, don't forget to leave a like down below, subscribe to see more videos like this, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.